buckets. Who can tell me something about the buckets? Are they full or empty? Oh. Empty. And what we need to do is get them full to the top. Now this is going to be a race, okay, of who can fill their bucket up the quickest. Okay, now once it's full, you've got to shout, it's full! Can you do that? Have a practice. It's full! It's full! And once it's full, you shout it's full and you're the winner. Are you ready? Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! Lucia's bucket is almost full. Well done. Louis the winner. Yes. Well, on your own, there's yours. You've got to go all around the sand and find the treasure. And the treasure is a number. And you've got to come and tell me what number you found. Roll and slide. So Jacob, what do you think this is going to do? Roll or slide? Or both? Both. Both. Why do you say that? Because it does, it does both. There's a curved edge and a curved edge. Good boy, there's a curved edge and a flat face. What's the name of this face? A flat face. It is a flat face. What's the name of the 2D shape? That's a circle. circle. Right, okay. Off you go then. Test it. Does it slide? It does. And does it roll? It does. Well done. So you can go get that and put that in. Roll and slide. It does both. Good boy. Okay, Maha. What do you think about the cuboid? It has. It does. It has rectangles. Good girl. Can you point to another rectangle on there? What's this face shape? Square. So it's made of squares and rectangles. Do you think it's going to roll, slide, or both? Both. You think both? Okay, let's test it first for sliding. Off we go, Maha. It does slide. Well done. Let's see if it rolls. Oh, did it roll? No. No, it didn't. Why didn't it roll? Because it doesn't have a circle. It doesn't have a curved edge. That's right, good girl. So can you put that in the correct set? It slides, but it doesn't roll as well. Good girl. Okay. okay, so today we are going to be practicing making the number seven. 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 Can you show me seven on your fingers, please? Right, so, what you're going to do today is you are going to make me a tower, and it's going to have. Ooh, let's see if I can do it in a different way. How many cubes? Seven. How many red hands? Seven. It's going to have seven cubes, okay? You can use yellow, you can use blue, you can decide however you want to make your tower, okay? I'm going to say ready. Should 
show them together, make sure they're all the same height so we can probably check them. Yeah, they look right. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to start off with my one, okay? Everyone have a look. Oh, yellow. What is it, Fareed? Oh, yellow. Oh, yellow. So how many yellow cubes have I got? Seven. Seven. So I've got seven yellow cubes. Can everyone get out seven on their fingers again? And how many blue ones have I got? Zero. Zero. Alana's turn now. So Alana, explain what you've got. Oh, Alana's got five yellows. Everyone get out of five. We can do that easy peasy with one hand, can't we? <laughs> Alana's got five yellows. And how many blues? Two. Two. Can everyone say five and two make seven? Your turn. Okay, so Chloe, please can you count me out for our whole number five objects, please? One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to partition this whole number into two parts. Okay, Aisha, can you do the first way? What about this one? Okay, can you tell us what you've partitioned five into, Aisha? How many here in this part? Two, two three. and three. Do two and three make five? Okay, can you show me on your fingers? Two. two. Actually, we do it. One, two, and three. And three. Does make five, doesn't it? So two plus three makes Five all together. Okay, Chloe, can you partition it in a different way? So we have two and three. Can you think of a different way to partition five? Excellent, well done. Tell, tell us about it, Chloe. What have you partitioned it into? I've got four and one. Okay, good girl. You've got four and one more makes five. five all together. Well done. Okay, so we've got four and one more, making five all together. Okay, challenge. I would like five as my whole. I only got four. What's the missing number? One. How do you know it's one? Because, because if you add one more, it needs to make five. If you don't add one more, it won't make five. What will it be? It'll just be four. It'll just be four and four and we need one more. Well done.